the question says what is the current flowing through the resistance r1 of the circuit shown in the figure given r1 is 10 ohm r2 is 20 and r3 is 30 and the potential at points 1 2 and 3 that is v1 is 10 volt v2 is 6 volt v3 is 5 volt so first of all i'm going to assume some direction of current over here so i'm going to say i1 is going to flow from 1 to the center point i2 is also going to go from v2 to v and i3 will go from v to v3 now the res reason for my assumption is that v1 and v2 are the greater potential than the v3 so i'm assuming that the current from both of them will go to the point which is the connection point and then it will go to the v3 wala point okay this is just an assumption so if you apply kcl in the circuit we get i1 plus i2 equal to i3 now definitely i1 hoga v1 minus v by r1 i2 hoga v2 minus v upon r2 and i3 hoga v minus v3 upon r3 agar hum substitute kare to 10 minus v by 10 plus 6 minus v by 20 is equal to V minus 5 by 30. If we 0 throughout cancel, then so we get this is like 20 minus 2V plus 6 minus V. The whole divided by 2 is V minus 5 by 3. Okay? So obviously, it will be 26 minus 3V into 3 is 2 times v minus 5 cross multiply we kar diya maine so 3 6 is 18 1 carry 3 2 is 6 plus 1 78 minus 3 3 is 9 volt this will be 2 v minus 2 5 is 10 <coughs> so obviously 10 is taraf jayega to 78 minus uh, or i should say actually 9 is taraf aayega so 9 plus 2 11 volt ho jayega or 78 plus 10 88 ho jayega that means v is going to be 8 volt okay now once we got the value of v now i think it's very easy to get the value of i1 which is nothing but v1 minus v by r1 so that is like 10 minus 8 upon 10 so 2 minus 2 by 10 is going to be 0 0.2 ampere yes so current flowing through the r1 is going to be 0 0.2 ampere or ye hoga hamara final answer